Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Boo? How you doing? What's up, brother? I'm good. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Making breakfast for you, though? Yes, sir. Awesome. Look at my buddy, boy named Sue. Hello. <laughs> How's the burrito? The burrito is very good. The wild boar sausage is on point. The eggs are not crunchy. And the potatoes are potatoes. What's up, big guy? It is your identifier. Up, buddy. Yeah, you know the girl. Ron's trying to catch this wild chicken. That's not a wild chicken. It came from my house in my <laughs> kayak. It did? All the way here with the wind blowing. It has a sister somewhere. We don't know where the other one is. Oh. Somewhere between Weimar and here, there's a chicken on the side of the road. Going. Slipped right there. All the way over while I was driving like a maniac through the canyons and everything else to get over here. My wife called me and said, have you seen the little chickens? Were they in your kayak? And I said, no. But apparently she's stuck in there. As you can see, That's it. banana. That's it. Banana. Let's see. Let's right see how you do end of the day. The good luck charm. Right good luck charm. What on the kayak? Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moon Outdoors. Today we are out here at Roland's Lake. It's a beautiful lake up in the mountain in uh, in Colfax, Grass Valley area. And uh, today uh, we're having a tournament called Roland's real deal. The theme of the tournament is uh, Save JT and uh, JT is a little baby who's dealing with the illness, uh, really rare illness and uh, we're trying to raise some money to help the baby out. Here's a little clip of uh, JT's video. Of course like every other parent you just you hope and pray that they are healthy and when he was first born there was no signs of anything. His second month checkup with his um, pediatrician, she noticed that he looked a little pale. When I went there and we were in the waiting room and when they knocked on the door and they came in, he just basically said uh, he has um, not the greatest news. So our son was diagnosed with a very rare genetic disease called triosephosphate isomerase deficiency, also known as TPI. Yeah, two to two to five years. And the doctor said I'm 72 years old. I've done this for 25 years. I've never seen this disease before. I don't know how to explain the feeling. Probably the worst day in my life. So if you guys want to watch the full video, I'll leave a link up there and also in the description. I'm gonna go find two tournament directors, Robert and James, and uh, have them uh, explain what the tournament is about. So we have James on your left and Rob on the right. Uh, these guys are the tournament director for today's tournament. Uh, can you tell us about the tournament today? Um, so tournament is the Rollins Real Deal. Um, and we were starting this tournament and we had no charity in mind. And they on Facebook I saw a post and watched a video of JT Barofka and that's all I needed to do. It hit home with me uh, as a father, seven kids, it's a big deal for me, you know, kids, you know, kids is everything. Uh, so I immediately sent the video to Rob and he agreed right then that that was our charity for this event. We reached out to the Barofka family and they agreed to let us do the tournament in their son's name. And the money we raise is actually going to the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, his parents are standing up a research facility to try to save their son. They're not just trying to make a better life for him while he's here, they're trying to keep him here. So, you know, that's something we can totally stand behind. Um, yeah, when James came to me and asked me if I wanted to do a tournament, I said, sure, let's do something. And James, every year, seems to do some type of a charity benefit or something like that. And he asked me if I wanted to be involved this year, and I reluctantly at first said yes. <laughs> but then, then I said, yeah, let's do this. Let's make this happen. And then a couple days later, it might have even been the same day, he sent me that video. I was like, yeah, there we go. And uh, we've, been, we've been working hard for the last 
I don't know, three months now. Yeah. Uh, it just kind of came about really quick. But uh, we put this together, uh, put together a good group of fishermen that are out here just having fun on a, a beautiful morning, actually. Yeah. Um, we wanted to make this tournament not so competition based our focus at least. We wanted it to be about the cause. We wanted to be about JT. So that's why we we organized it in a way that yes, it's competitive. You go out, you catch fish, you try to target update species. So smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, spotted bass, crappie, bluegill, catfish, brown trout, and rainbow trout. So you can catch one of each of those species. You don't have to weigh it. You don't have to measure it. You get a picture of it with your identifier. That's all you have to do. There's no stress behind it. You don't have to keep the mouth shut or anything like that. And you come back in and check in. We identify, we make sure you got those species and then we basically give you, uh, you get to choose playing cards and it becomes a poker hand. So anybody, even with two cards, can win this event. It does, even if somebody, you go against somebody that gets five cards, they potentially get five, you know, random cards. You get somebody with two aces or whatever, they win the prize. So. We didn't want it to be, you know, we, there's enough competitive tournaments out there, so we wanted it to be more of a friendly, community-based, focused uh, type of tournament. I mean, we got some great sponsors. Uh, I reached out to Dan from Headwaters right off the bat about our kayak uh, random drawing, and Dan immediately said, we got you. So he, he uh, gave us a 2019 Hobie Outback nice. cost. So. And I want to give a big, huge, special, special shout out to, uh, to John Howell. He reached out and said if we hit $5,000 in donations, he'll match it dollar for dollar. So on Sunday when I was out here pre-fishing, I get a, an, an alert that I had a $5,000 donation to, to the, uh, the drawing for JT. And you... I probably yelled a little bit and was pretty excited because uh, that was a huge bump in the fundraising for us. Another special shout out to uh, Travis Moran from Styx. He, uh, he stepped up and he donated a full set of $600 uh, dollar fishing rods. It's basically every rod you need for bass. You know, special thanks to him and, and all the sponsors. I can, the list is long. It'd probably take me 30 minutes, you know, trying to go through my memory bank to get them. But uh, everybody that donated, to pers from personal friends to companies, we really appreciate yes. it. Yeah, we just we started putting the word out there, and just everybody was on board with what we're doing. And we also, really appreciate it. Also. For us, I, I live up here in Colfax, so this is my home lake. Uh, but, I don't know, you've been here for a while, Moo, how's it look? It's pretty, pretty awesome here. This is awesome, yeah, this Beautiful. is awesome. Oh, 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 fish oh, oh. On. Fish on. <laughs> You've been fishing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's been sitting here too, but I don't have a fish yet, so it's all good. It's pesky spotted bass. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that is perfect. Species one hey, now. Species this, one. this one here, this one's for JT. That's for go. JT. <laughs> it's not a monster, but they're still fun. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for making this happen. I know it's a lot of work, but it's oh worth man. it. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. Another special yeah. shout out to my beautiful <laughs> wife. She's uh, she's been there and she's helped us through this. So please make sure that makes it in the video because that's <laughs> yeah. that she's she is she's so key. Us. She's so key in helping and just challenging me on everything I you know, every step of the way and making sure that we're making it the best we can make it. And, you know, with us, we want bigger, bigger, bigger. And with the participation, it's kind of been like, oh, we want more people to come. You know, it's such a great thing. And my wife has balanced me and brought me back down. And it's not about that. It's about JT. It's about the cause. So love you, honey. And I appreciate everything you've done. Is this Texas boy? That it is. Yay. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Just trolling. So sure. trolling? Anything yet? Nothing. Nothing? No bumps. <laughs> Keep changing it up. Alright. Good luck. How's it going? Fishing's great. Fishing's great. How about catching? Catching? We're working on that. Any luck so far? No. No? Thought I'd get my crappie out of the way early and I couldn't get that, so... Go back to the bass. So how's fishing so far? 
Well, you know, it's been a little slow for me, but I've heard a few guys been getting on them. But I'm just going for bass. I've been seeing a lot of guys crappie fish and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. I've never, never really gone for that <laughs> other species before, so just sticking with what I know. So guys, this is David, and uh, he's actually uh, the uncle of JT. Yes, JT's uncle. So uh, what do you think about this uh, this event? Oh man, this is great. It's good to see, you know, the kayak community coming together and you know supporting, you know, fellow angler. You know, it's uh, it's cool to see like you know my brother's from the boating side of our world and I'm from the kayaking side, so it's kind of cool to see the two sides of our. Uh, you know, West Coast fishing family come together. Oh yeah. Drag's a little loose. All right. <laughs> Dave did it. He didn't let me down. Ned Rig's getting it done. <laughs> Got a couple bass early this morning too. Okay, so you got two species? I have two species. Nice. Got to go find a crappie and a green sunfish now. Nice. Go for well species. done. Go get them. Thanks, man. Is it a large or a spot? It's a spotted. Spotted? Nice. There you go. That's a dink. Wow, look at that monster. It's gotta be like eight inches, right? <laughs> All right. Chunky. <laughs> yeah, little critters. What are you fishing for now? Uh, I'm hoping a smallmouth. But I might have to switch it up and go start looking for a crappie here pretty soon. All right. Yeah. Different species. There you go. Probably another spot. Maybe I'll get lucky. Be a small one. Another spot. Still fun. There you go. That's the biggest bass I've seen all day. Oh yeah? <laughs> it's not real big. Yeah, I know, but I've been seeing like eight inches and ten inches. Oh nice. <laughs> so that's about the size I've been catching all day. <laughs> nice. Yay! What do we got there? Oh, a little spot. Little spot. I didn't shoot him because I already have that one. Okay. So how many species you got so far? One. Just one? Spot? Spot me up. Anyone catching any trout? I haven't seen anybody. Yeah. How many species so far? Two. Two? That's it. All right. So I will tell you that we're having a great time out here at the Saving JT event fundraiser. And we're all out here having a great time. We all got poles in the water. Some of us are catching, some of us others are fishing, but let me tell you, we're having a blast and we're supporting a great cause. Y'all are right. missing out. <laughs> so how many species so far? Um, zero. Oh! <laughs> what about you, buddy? Uh, zero for me too. Oh no! You gotta get at least one to beat your dad. Yeah, I gotta at least my dad. <laughs> I heard uh, you've been killing it. Nope. Nope? I caught three tiny little ones earlier. Oh, uh, size doesn't matter. I know, but I, I didn't take no pictures of them. They're too small, too embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm back on land. Um, the tournament started at 7 a.m. and right now it's just after 1. So all these guys still have about 45 minutes of fishing. And a few guys already came back. And uh, from all the people that I talked to who came back and uh, on the water, Man, they were having some tough time today. Uh, I think the most uh, species caught by a person is uh, two species. And I think I talked to like three different people who had two species. Uh, but other than that, everybody is pretty much one species. And uh, spotted bass is, was the uh, common 
fish they caught. So I'm gonna hang around on the dock over here and uh, talk to the guys as they come in. How's it going? Good. So you got two species, right? Two species. All right. So what's the total species? Sunfish and a spot. Oh, you got two. Yeah. Yay. And can I have my wallet back, please? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> you're gonna want some chapstick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What a cool dad you got. Man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> How many species? Uh, still two. Still two? Yeah. All right. Hey, fundraiser, right? Yeah, fundraiser. And, and the, I don't really catch more than two species, anyway. So. Upside. Uh, I haven't heard anybody catching more, more than two species yet. So. Oh. How goes it? Uh, I got three bluegills. Three bluegills? Yep. Three so. bluegills, one smally, and three spotted. Three species? Yeah, three species. What? Here's the little guy we were talking about. JT, JT. looking super excited about the tournament, as you can tell. <laughs> no, he's, he, he is really excited. <laughs> But no, no, this is uh, this is little man here himself, and um, everybody came out to, you know, help him out and, and uh, raise some money, and everything's going right to the lab back east, and it's gonna really help. I mean, even every little dollar, a thousand dollars, goes so far in that lab, and, and helps helps them out, and helps other children that have. I mean, there's not very many, that, but um, the other kids that have TPI as well, so. It is, it is about JT, but it's also about these other kids as well, so uh, we're really blessed to have um, everything here, the, um, all the help we've had from Yak Bass and James and, and, uh, and Ron and, um, you know, everybody that came out, it's been amazing and, uh, yeah, it's kind of emotional when it comes to the fishing stuff for us because we're, you know, we're so involved in the fishing, but to have, uh, to have an event like this and uh, just pop up and raise this much money, it's amazing. So I'm really excited. Hi. Thank you. Jason, thank you so much for coming out and uh, thank you for bringing JT with you. Oh, this is JT. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. How's it going? What's up, Mo? Did you even get on the water today? Oh, he came up just to help. Uh, nice. Awesome. Gotta help support. Yeah. Hey, what do we got here? We have uh, pulled pork with some nice barbecue sauce on it. Oh, I'll have to try one now. I've been waiting for it to be done. Yeah. Oh man, this one's all over. I want some of these salads. I want everybody to sing happy birthday to JT. His first birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to JT. Happy birthday to you! Yeah. So, many people coming out of nowhere and wanting to help, and and um, a perfect example of, of people that want to help is all of you guys. But James, Rob, I mean, you guys really amazing. You rocked it. And Very yeah. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and doing that, and and. Trust me, all everything that we're doing here and all the money is going to the right place. We have an amazing lab, an amazing team in Pittsburgh that has set up a lab and is searching right now every single day. There's um, yeah, an amazing team there. You know, we've, we um, we visited them and, and, uh, and every bit of this money, even a thousand dollars there goes a long ways, you guys. Like, it's huge. I mean, there's something this rare is 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 not as expensive as you would think it would be <laughs> for if it was something extremely extremely like everyone knows sickle cell anemia or cancer or something like that it would be hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and all we're trying to do is raise a lot of money and that's all we need just just a bunch of money and to get there and it's helping already it's not that much, it's not it's that much. and and we're a third and, there and this amount of money is huge you have no idea how much this is to us and this money is going to help our son 
get better and help the other kids, the couple that are out there that have TPI as well. And um, we're, we're so close, you guys. Like, they, if I wanted to break this down in a real short version, our TPI lab has found, they found um, a dozen compounds that are working to fight this disease. If it's not a cure, it's more of a treatment to prolong things. We have one major one right now that's, that's in the works and it's in cell tests because they took a big sample off his back and they're doing some tests. Um, that isn't the cure, that's just to prolong things, maybe give him another, you know, 10 years. I know he looks perfectly normal now, and if you're not too familiar with the disease, the, unfortunately the thing is the kids look completely normal, about 18 months to two and a half years, they start to lose momentum, and um, they start to get paralyzed, their dia diaphragm gives out, it's basically a neurological deal, and it's irreversible, so that's why we're in a big rush to try to find something so this doesn't happen to him because once he can't walk, he can't get it back. And and in all the other cases, at about 18 months to two and a half years, these kids have been paralyzed, breathing through a tube, and being fed through a tube too. So we are truly blessed to have all you guys, and the support has been amazing. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> but on a positive note too, yeah. in Pittsburgh, there's three different things that they just figured out, which yeah. gives us a lot of hope. So um, they're going to find a way with everybody's help. We're like you said, we're raising the money. They have everything that they need to do. They're going to do it with the funds because it costs money to get all these compounds and do all these tests. And the next step is FDA approvals. So we're getting there, and we have a lot of hope because they found things to prolong and and help the TPI fruit fly. So we know that it will help him. We just have to get there, and we're almost there. And and it it, it isn't really at the end of the day. It's not all about. The, the money being raised, the awareness and the people yes. talking about it and spreading it has got this university, which is massive. I had no idea how big Pittsburgh, if anybody knows about it, that you know. It is big. It's got to be one of the biggest colleges in the world. They, they are so um, just amazed at how many people are promoting this TPI deficiency and how many people are promoting it and sharing it on that it's got their whole team ramped up to the point now where they are just like... Basically, my doctor, the doctor that's heading the thing said, you guys have changed our life. 16 years he's been doing this, and up until JT just arrived, all of a sudden, the, the university, with all your guys sharing everything, they noticed everything, and they're tracking, they're watching, and now they're just like, whatever you need. And, and before that, he had to write grants and do stuff, and it took a long time, and they've recently just hired a new doctor, just because of all the donations and stuff that came in from everybody, they hired another full on doctor to help in the lab um, and just the amount of attention that everyone and put all you guys too has given to this cause has boosted this whole idea of what's going on if you went to Pittsburgh I mean he is like a celebrity over there when we went there they're like they everyone knew who he was in the whole hospital it was amazing um, you know their um, their local media <laughs> <laughs> Talk for your time, but I just want to let you guys know we love you guys. Thank you. We couldn't do this without you, and um, we appreciate it. So you're our fishing family for sure. And um, I'm gonna be in a kayak next year, so watch out. Yeah. <laughs> and before today, I never met these people. A lot of you guys know me. I've been doing this for years, coming up and trying to help people. That's what it's all about. Next year it could be one of you. Yep. It could be, it could be me. So, any way you can help. I mean, that's... Community. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's it takes a village, really, to help. So, I'm glad yeah. you guys are here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you all.